So you'll notice that from the FBX file, we just brought in diffuse maps. You might know that there's more to a material than just the diffuse color. And, you know, turning up a generic reflection, there, there, you can put a reflection map in, you can put a normal bump map in. You can do things that add a little more realism to these textures. So let's look at how we can customize some of this stuff. Okay, but first I need to look at, let's go back to here. What we want to do is go to a specific reflection map that works for this leather. And we can do that by going to this texture here and saying open. Navigating to the place where I have that texture. And you can see I have one here called leather diffuse underscore REF, which stands for reflection. And I can apply that there. That specifically matches the unwrap of this cushion. So that is custom made in using Max Unwrap and Photoshop. You can see it's still not looking right, and that's because in the settings and the bump, I'm going to turn that all the way down so we can see just what the reflection is doing. Now in the bump, we need to put another map. And here, by default, there's something here called crumpled map, which just adds some default normals to it. I added a regular bump map in here, a black and white bump map. Of course, what we actually need here is a normal map. So let's look real quick how to create that. In Photoshop here, I have the diffuse, and we can just go to filter. This is assuming you have Photoshop CC. We can go to 3D filters, generate normal map. And then you can adjust the level of detail. I like to look at it over here. You also have this swatch here that shows you what it's doing. A little too noisy maybe, especially if I go up like that. So maybe something like right there or even more. Okay, so let's save this out as a normal map. So we want it leather diffuse to underscore norm and if we load that into twin motion it should give us the right bump that we want and then you just open it here navigate to it load that leather diffuse normal map and there you go now it's working as it should you have maps that are very specific to that specific material. You can see the wrinkles going up and down in the couch. I think I want to turn the reflection down some, like that. That's so you can add a little bit, or that's how you can add a little bit more high-end materials. If you want to use PBR materials from something like Quixel or something like Substance Designer, you can do that as well using these same things. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to turn, you want to use a substance material for this concrete floor down here, or that you have something spit out of Quixel Mixer that is a PBR material with all the maps you need for PBR workflow. Then you can plug them all in to these different slots down here. So let's look at an example real quick. So we go to sample this thing, and we'll say, okay. Under color, let's go to more and put a new texture there and then navigate to your maps for your PBR texture. I have one here from Quixel Mixer called Concrete Smooth. We'll just get the albedo and put it in there. Then we can go back, go to reflection, use the glossiness map here. You can go to the settings, go to bump, go to more. This is the default bump that's in there. We want to load a different normal map. We can put this normal right in there. We can turn up the bump. We can turn up the reflection. And that map, that glossiness map, is telling it where to reflect more and where to reflect less. Then we can change the overall scale of it because it's a little too big. And we can also adjust the overall color of it by making it not white, but putting it more towards gray. So that's actually affecting the albedo map and kind of darkening it. 
So that works too. I think we can go higher on the reflection and then bigger on the scale. Okay, so that's how you can use a PBR texture. Just like any custom texture, you can just load it into the map slots. I don't actually like the way this is reading, so I'm going to go to the library and put a new concrete on there. We'll put the polished concrete on, darken it a little bit, adjust the color down. Great, that works. Okay, so that's how you can customize materials and make them look a little nicer than just the default and also how you can use a PBR workflow if you so desire.